In the video today, we're going to show you how to create a wrapped sketch in on shape. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to put a cylinder of some sort on here. And I do kind of want to know this dimension in case we decide that we want to do puzzle tubes later on. So I'm going to make it like a three. And then I will go ahead and I'll go ahead and extrude the thing. And I probably should write down this dimension as well, but I'll go ahead and make that three as well, just to keep it, keeping everything simple. All right, so the key here now is we want to get a plane that is tangent to this one. We can go up here to planes, which is right here. There they are. So we'll click right there. And when we do, we've got an offset plane. So we'll click here on the one of the origin planes, right? We're just gonna kind of drag that out. This is why I wanna know that diameter though, right? Because now I know my offset distance should be 1.5. Okay, and that'll give me the exact dimension I need. So now I can actually click sketch and click on that plane I just did and hit the end key to normalize it, right? And from here, what I'm gonna do is just create the shape. I could do text, I could do a number of different things. I'm just going to start out here and create a random sketch so that we can see how the thing works. Okay, so I've got that going. I'll hit the check mark. And now what I'm going to do is I've got that sketch out there. So I'll go up here. And if I look toward the top in that modify area, I have to click this little down arrow, but there is wrap. So let me kind of look at that a little bit closer. Right in here, I click the down arrow and then I choose wrap. So I'll go up here, I'm gonna click wrap for my tool. I wanna to click the sketch and for my target. I wanna click the face of the cylinder. Now here's a few things here. I wanna probably click solid, don't I? Cause solid's gonna give it that 3D effect. And then I can also change the thickness up here too. I could get a different kind of thickness if I wanted to. I could also do split and that would give me two separate entities. For the keeping it simple, we just want to click solid and click OK. And that's how I would wrap a sketch.